Ow. Alrighty, welcome to the trial version of the first ever League of Extraordinary Spenders podcast. I'm your host, uh, Jeebus, or you can call me Stefan, whichever you want to do. Uh, over on my right, I, I guess, is my uh, personal assistant. God damn it, Anthony, why the hell did you come in? <laughs> Uh, I was invi- I was called. <laughs> okay. Well, we were okay. just in the intro too. <laughs> All right. Okay. Anyways, yeah, we'll just keep going. Uh, over on my right is uh, Mr. Garrett Weezer. Say hi. Hello, Hello people. All righty. Uh, over on my left is the wonderful Julie B. Hello. All right. Over on my other right is the guy who has his own review show and is a helpful person when it comes to retro anime, Mr. Nathan. I would just like to say that this gig sucks. <laughs> hey, up yours, Springfield. <laughs> and the last person, unless somebody else comes in, god damn them, uh, is, uh, is our fifth person here, Mr. Anthony. Say hi. Sorry, I'm late, everybody. Hey. Yay. Anyways, uh, this is not official. This will just be a uh, trial version. Uh, anyways, uh, we decided to just come up with one topic that I think everybody gets into a riot about whenever we t- put this up for debate. Uh, most overrated anime. This is a topic that has been discussed to death and again, but we never get tired of it. I don't think. No. <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah, who would like to put up the first um, uh, first overrated anime that they think oh, is... Me, oh, Naruto! <laughs> <laughs> who said me? I would, I would... <laughs> I would like to say that yes, I agree with the notion that the big three are in fact overrated. Not one piece. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think they have their own appeal to them. I personally never saw a single episode of Naruto. I watched about 11 episodes of One Piece. In fact, I read one volume of One Piece and that was it for me. <laughs> and I watched 52 episodes of Bleach before I discovered everything else. But... I think that the big three are overrated, and they aren't my definition of what I think of when I hear the word shonen. Because to me, if you ask me what defines shonen, I say Fist of the North Star. Because if you read Fist of the North Star, you discover just where all these modern shonen series come from. I mean, Fist of the North Star can be seen in Bleach, in Naruto, in One Piece, in... Oh my god, another person! (laughs) <laughs> and, wait, 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 there's one more I have to put in there. It can be seen in Toriko and all these other shonen series like Kenichi and whatnot, and even in that store brand serial you people call Fairy Tale. Hey, hey, hey. hey. But at least no. Fairy Tale had the audacity to admit that it just took every shonen that was there and put it into one show. Well, you know what, what they say that? too many cooks spoil the meal. Right. Anyways, uh, welcoming our sixth person to the debate is Miss Jamie. Jamie. Mister. Mister, whatever. <laughs> my hopes up there for a moment. Whoops. <laughs> like, oh man, Jamie. Oh, I hope this is the Jamie you're thinking of. Oh, I Jamie hope not. Jamie Langenbrunner. <laughs> All right, or I will go by Kami, Kamiya. <laughs> That, that works too, so, um, but yeah, no, I I think like yeah, when it comes to defining a most overrated anime, I think when you think the big three, we gotta think Naruto and Bleach. Well, not necessarily Bleach, because at least Bleach kept it up to where it was pretty much the leader when it came to the big three before it fl- finally flat on its face. Thank you, Tight Kubo. Uh, I do not see how One Piece became the leader because when you come down to it, nobody is going to watch 300 episodes of the same show just to find out that, that it was not be, it was not able to be paid off in the end. I have watched 165 episodes of One Piece and that is enough that's still not enough for me. I can't tell when it becomes good. Uh can I if can I just say something about no. this the North Star falling flat on its face? When was that? Volume 4? Um no actually. <laughs> this the North Star gets good once you find out that Ken has brothers. Because once it gets into Spoiler Ken's backstories alert. just to how he mastered Hokuto Shin Ken and a lot of the side characters get introduced, that's when it gets really good. It stops being good after... Well, let me just put it this way. This isn't really a spoiler. Ken defeats the main villain of the series. <sighs> no! Don't <laughs> <laughs> 
What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> yep, Ken defeats <laughs> Rao. <laughs> that shouldn't surprise you. But yeah, Ken defeats Rao, but that wasn't enough for Shonen Jump. You see, Shonen Jump supposedly ordered a bunch of more chapters be written for Fist of the North Star. And basically, it forced Tetsuo Hara and Bronson into a corner. And... They basically had no idea what they were doing, and they just kind of threw some stuff together to make a new Fist of the North Star story that was set ten years into the future. Ken is still the main character, only now there's a new Hokuto art called Muso Tensei, where people shoot beams from their hands. Oh, they just like Question. Dra Question. Like Dragon Ball Z. So is yeah, this like a Dragon Ball Z ripoff. Is this where they got the idea for a new Fist of the North Star? Uh, New say. Fist of the North Star is very much like a semi-sequel to the original Fist of the North Star. Okay. It's kind of a... It's sort of like an in-between story that takes place somewhere during Kenshiro's journey. Hmm. Okay. But yes, uh, like you were saying... I don't know if I'm interrupting anybody, but... Uh, no, like you were saying that what defines a shonen... When I think shonen, I think... W I speak for everyone, well, besides you, Nathan. When I say Dragon Ball Z. Oh, well, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm sort of in agreement with you there. I mean, Dragon Ball Z definitely was the defining shonen series for most of us. But if you watch Fist of the North Star, you will see that... Dragon Ball Z took a lot of its cues from Hokuto no Ken, and I think well, it kind yeah. of built on them. Well, yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm not gonna say that it didn't. I'm like, I think Fist of the North Star influenced a lot of shows, including like Yu Yu Hakusho. But yeah. I like, I, I, I mean, I would say when it comes to our generation, it's either Dragon Ball Z, Yu Yu Hakusho, or it's like, uh, hell, the original Dragon Ball is what people are gonna say when they think original shonen. But the, yeah, I'm, I, I will agree with you that Dragon Ball is the defining shonen series. I am not a huge Dragon Ball fan. I like Fist of the North Star a lot more because the fights last m less than two episodes. Right. Though I think, though I think uh, the other show that would define the attitude of shonen is, is definitely Idolmaster. <laughs> Um, How did I know you were going to say that? <laughs> come, I'm sorry. Come on. I come on. Seen that. Twelve girls in Studio Four Three Two. I mean, it, come on. They they fought a lot. I thought Rosario <laughs> Vampire did. Oh, Rosario Vampire defined Shonen so much, dude. It did. <laughs> I know nothing so, about. Ro uh, all I I know nothing about Rosario Vampire. Well, the manga did. I only know two things. The two things I know. One. Gonzo did the adaptation. And yes, number two... Never, never trust Gonzo. I'll say and that. And uh, speaking of Gonzo, I'll get to one of mine in a bit. Um, uh, I, I have like two more on my brain that I can think of, but I'll save them for later. But uh, the other uh, red flag that it sets off to, there is a woman in that show who fires lasers from her titties. Her massive, hey. massive titties. Uh, I think we all know that. <laughs> I find that very attractive. Well, you can either shoot well, you lasers. Love Man Yu Hiken show. <laughs> well, no, Nathan. I'm like, you can either shoot lasers from your boobs, or you can have guys and girls sucking on them in a show that's supposed to be hentai, but is borderline hentai. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. <laughs> you have that... no idea how I felt when I read that Sentai Filmworks announcement. C c can you cue up the clip of Farnsworth going, I don't want to live on this planet anymore? I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Yeah, it's because when, when I read that, I'm like, yeah, that was my thoughts exactly. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What's it called again? What Farnsworth. is it called? Farnsworth, Dr. Farnsworth going, I don't want to live on this planet. No, 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 no that thing you were talking about. The show. Yeah. Oh, Seikon like, no Quasar. Though, uh, I would argue that uh, <laughs> Manyu Hiken Cho is even worse. Because Seikon no Quasar tried to have a story. Tried. Ephesus on tried. But anyway, I'm 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 ranting. Uh, somebody yes. take their turn with overrated anime. Okay. Um, yeah. hmm. 
Uh, anybody? Well, I'm going to talk about an overrated one, but I kind of have a soft spot for it because it is what got me into anime, and yes, it is Naruto. Okay. I won't disagree with you there. So, like, I think it's it started out good. It had potential, but as everyone knows, it kind of went downhill. Oh, very yes, it did. I, I was actually... I was actually okay with the series. I, I really, it's more of the fan base I didn't like yeah. about the series. It's it's same with Bleach. Same with that's One what Piece. keeps me from reading Homestuck. Yeah, it's it's yeah. the fan. It's really the fan base. But right. I I will admit, like Bleach, Bleach is tolerable. Naruto is tolerable, but at a cer- but both at a certain degree, like. I never really watched. I I only stopped at the. Uh, oh shoot! What what was the name of that arc? The uh, the one after Zabuza's arc. The yeah. Chunin the Chunin exam the arc. Chunin exam. I yeah I stopped watching from there, but I just read. I just continued reading, and um, and I really I only kept up with it because I wanted to see where it was going to go with it. I wasn't really. I'm not saying that. Oh, I'm such a hard, diehard fan. I just wanted to know where they're going to go with it. How are they going to end it? And my excitement when they said, oh, it's going to end. Yeah, and you believed him? I actually <laughs> kind of, yeah, I really did because I was really hoping it would. Well, I dude, really, just kept going dude, and going and going like well, the dude, Energizer that's like, Bunny. Well, they, I mean, dude, that, yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. If they ended at this arc, because like, they already revealed who... This is gonna be recording, right? They, they, yeah. they really, yeah. they really, they already revealed who Toby is. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure, and they keep saying, "Oh, the final arc." I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna last for another good year or so. But it's a progress since saying, "Yeah, it's almost done," which is a good thing for me because I really want to stop, but I don't want to, I don't want to leave it uncomplete. I well, just go ahead. No, go ahead, Gert. Okay. The other day, I randomly just got on Crunchyroll and just watched a, the newest episode of Naruto Shippuden because everyone's always talking about it, so I decided to give it another try with, you know, their current material. And it, the animation was just so crappy. Oh, God, I saw this. I, I was actually just trying to look up this one fight scene where Rock Lee fights himself, and it's just like, this is Macross 7 levels of recycling animation over and over and over again. And believe me, you do not want me comparing an anime to Macross 7. <laughs> Anyways, uh, joining us... Uh, Death he's just, Note, he's, that is all. There you okay. go. He, he, that was Brian Darby, everybody. That was our... Thank he, you. Yes. Um, but yeah, no, I'm like, dude, if you thought that Naruto was going to end, I'm like... You shouldn't, <laughs> especially if this was like three, four years ago. Because seriously, Japan, Japan is such a sucker for long, long running series that as long as it's making money, it will continue to run. That is why Ichiro Oda is never going to end One Piece. I swear this on my life. This is why Taikubo is not going to end Bleach. This is why Inuyasha actually, barely ended. Actually, I know the Bleach anime, they actually did end that, and I yeah, heard yeah. something the that the they're going to end that manga. manga yeah, they're, he's really trying to clean, he's really trying to uh, cut yeah, it off and, now. Yeah, and then I've heard rumors that he's just making chapters, in, enough chapters to where the anime can come back and be on the full story again. Oh, God. I hope not. I, it was really hard for me to watch the anime as it was, because fillers... All those fillers, it, it's, it, it just felt out of place because, you know, they cut from the main arc. They literally just pause it right where the arc, is, right where the where the story arc is, just to throw in fillers because Tisei Kubo didn't put it, didn't, uh, you know, it hasn't made enough chapters to make into anime. That's one of my, yeah. that's one of my main gripes of the, of the. Of the anime itself, I mean, I, I gotta admit, maybe the bat, maybe seeing the battles in animation is fine, just listening to the voice actors is fine, but no more of the fillers. I mean, the manga was fine as the manga is okay as it is. I just can't handle the fillers. 
Well, that's what happens when you run out of chapters, and then the studio's like, why aren't you running any chapters? And he's like, well, because I'm trying to make some more story. Well, do it. Uh, well, I can't. Well, then what are we supposed to do? Write fillers? Okay. <laughs> I feel so happy oh, no. that I have no idea what you are talking about. <laughs> oh, I mean, really? I've never... I have never seen a single episode of Naruto, never read a single chapter of Naruto, and that's why I am happy that I don't know what what you are talking about, because Honestly. I did not have to suffer the same pain you did, because while you were watching Naruto, I was busy with Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Honestly, okay, it's for, okay. It's for answer, answer, answer me that, no answer me that Nathan. What? what? Nothing. Sorry. Oh. Okay, answer me that, Nathan. Is, is Legend of Galactic Heroes r- that good? It is one of few anime that I would say is... It's one of few anime I would say is an epic. I mean, it's not... I would say that it's sort of... It, it has a few hurdles for you to cross over because... The animation definitely shows its age. And it's a very slow show that's very heavy on dialogue. And it moves at a very slow pace. <laughs> and, it has, and it has 110 episodes. But I will say this. None of those episodes are filler. There is not a single wasted moment in that series. There is no padding or plot holes that I could think of as far as Legend of the Galactic Heroes goes. Hmm. An anime series without fillers is a great series. Except some only- anime can pull off fillers well, like K-On. K-On pretty yeah. much what had a fuck? lot... K- on, no, I'm saying it's a good thing, because K-On pulled off, had a lot yeah. of fillers compared to the manga... But it went well. That's the thing because it didn't. It didn't. Uh, no, dude. I'm like, dude. Uh, Khaki Fly was already done with the manga by the time the second season aired. Yeah, but they still. But it still add. They, the fillers still added to it, though. It's not like how Bleach completely disregarded the story for fillers. It was like, even though it's a different genre, it's still fillers nonetheless. But it still did a good job. That's what it's one of the reasons why I love K on as a series, and I'm really hoping they come out with that third season. Uh, can yeah, I get back I, to uh, to Legend of Galactic Heroes? No. Uh, hold on, just one more statement. Uh, do I, I, I guess if you want to say K on had fillers, but to me it, that was Khaki Fly writing in ex- an extended <laughs> story, if there was a story. But I'm like, <laughs> if they do with uh, well, also if they do a third season, what are they gonna do? I'm like, Az- Azusa is barely as popular as she is, even though she's a lolly, and Japan loves those freaking lollies. Uh, June, nobody gives a damn, and Ui is just there for the closure. I'm like, if they do that, and then add in the two characters from the manga as it is now, I don't think it's going to sell nearly as much as it did the first K-On! season. Uh, so it's kind of like how how they have those manga-only arcs like Bleach is doing. They're I not guess. Gonna con- yeah. It would, would pretty be... much it would pretty much be Digimon except new club members instead of new Digidestin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and also, has anybody pre-ordered Digimon season one yet? Nope. Nope. You mean the? Are you talking about the PSP game? No. No. The, the no. D- the DVD box set yeah. that's coming out. No, oh, I didn't know they were coming out. Wait, yeah. is it going to be like one of those those unedited versions? Nope. Uh, no, it's the dub. Oh. Yeah. Which I'm like, that's the good. that's the only reason for me to pre-order it. I was yeah. never a fan of Digimon. I was a big fan of Digimon. It was part of my childhood. I don't love it enough to get that box set because I have better things to spend that money on, yeah. like Same. and Wonderland, what, like a like a Dines a Gate, on a Atari, Space Adventure like Cobra. <laughs> Anybody gonna be getting Space Adventure Cobra from Disco Tech? Uh, one, uh, what Space Adventure Cobra? Yes. Yeah, what is oh, it? oh, never mind, but... Um, <laughs> let's get back to overrated anime. Let's yes, get back to overrated anime. Okay, overrated anime? Uh, Madoka Magica. Yep. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. Good anime, but it's so yeah. fucking overrated. Great opening song. Yeah, I will admit, yeah, great opening song, but when it. you've seen shows like Serial Experiments Lane, even Galleon, yeah. and yeah, exactly. then you see Madoka, it's not going to leave much of a thing on you because you've already seen so much of that deepness and lull darkness and it, that it's, it's like. Lame too, can I ruin that opening of uh, Madoka for you? No. Sure. 
Calafina, the band responsible for the theme to Madoka. I believe it was Calafina. I'm not sure. It's, I don't have Calafina. They covered their own song, right? I can't even fucking. What was it? What? Yeah, Calafina. Yeah, Calafina also did the openings to Angel Blade. Really? Which one? Wait. Never which one is Angel Blade? Angel oh, Blade Angel... is a hentai. Yeah. Uh, oh, I was, that... of, I was thinking of Angel call... Beats. But, I was thinking of Angel um, Blade. Angel Blade. Yeah. <laughs> I Angel, know, Blade I... Angel Blade, an anime that involves chicks with dicks. I don't know. I haven't <laughs> seen... I am so sad I know about that. I World haven't Order's seen win. Angel Blade. I just know that because That's Anime perfect. World Order was talking about it at one point. <laughs> I like chicks with dicks. Pre-orders win. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, like, seriously, the thing that I, I kind of hate right now about the Madoka fandom is every time that you try to get them to go watch another deconstruction, they're just all like, oh, no, this is dumb and old, won't watch it. Yeah, and and then and then they're so caught up with, oh, y- you didn't like it. Well, why didn't why didn't you understand? You didn't understand it. Well, like, it's so it's the deconstruction of magical girls anime. I'm like, it, it's supposed to re- it's supposed to rectify how you think of the world. I'm like, really? Yeah. Because yeah. Angel Beats that made me do that. that. And, and and like I said, it's not that yeah, I it's Angel- not that I absolutely hate Monica Magica. It's I love Monica Magica, but I fucking hate the fan base. I cannot stand the fan base sometimes. Thank you. Thank you. I've actually never um, seen it. How how is it as a series? It's uh, well it depends. Have you it's seen sh- have you seen you shows like know, Lane and Evangelion? Know a show that was exactly like Monica I've seen Magica. Lane. I love Lane. Evangelion I didn't care for. I really wasn't a fan of Evangelion. <laughs> you wanna know? I okay, no, the whole you want a show? You want to? It's it's just a four episode OVA, but uh, it came out in two thousand one. But you want to show that it's pretty much fucking Monica Magica before anything. It's Alien a show 9. called Alien Nine. Yes. Oh, I own Alien Nine. It's sitting on my shelf. I gotta watch that. I do yeah, too, it's, bro. It's, it's, it's yes. like it's like Monica Magica, <coughs> kind of. People, the the girls wear squids on their heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And dude, it was Madoka Magica before Madoka Magica. I'm like Alien Nine, it pr- pretty much made me go, "Holy fuck, what is going on here? Why yeah. are there squids killing each other?" Yeah, exactly. And then, and then, and then there, it's just so annoying because a lot of people always think that Madoka Magica is a truly original innovation in the in in the whole of anime, not just like, okay, well, it was good for magical girls. No, it it redefined anime, and I'm just all like, it's like really? It's like saying, <laughs> can I? Can I can I have another asshole moment? Yeah, sure. sure. Go ahead. Um, it's like saying like, "Oh, Evangelion was so original," and I'm like, "Have you seen Space Runaway Edeon? Yeah, exactly. Edeon no, was actually, so fucking good. You have no actually, idea. actually, actually, if, actually, if you've seen Common Rider, you've seen Evangelion. <laughs> oh, <laughs> because yeah. it's funny. Yeah. I'm I'm actually watching Stronger right now. <laughs> because he, because Hideki Anno will will admit straight up that everything he got from Evangelion was What's from Common Rider, and I'm like, wow, that actually makes kind of sense. <laughs> um, don't, funny don't thing about Common Rider too, I can't remember exactly Evangelion. what Common Rider series it is, but Madoka Magica is also like references one of the Common Riders, and I can't fucking anybody know. Okay, I don't remember which one it was. Uh, I'll probably figure it out. What is it? Uh, I have no idea. My friend just mentioned it, and uh, it's it's I can't. It's one of the common writers, but it's pretty much just like Madoka Magica. Like all the characters die in the same exact way as they do in Madoka Magica. Yuki. I have Ryuki, no idea. Yeah. I don't, I don't, Ryuki, I'm, everyone dies. Even the main character dies. I'm so. Well, I'm, yeah. If you guys, are, if anyone is play. listening. If anyone is listening to this and I accidentally spoiled it for you, I'm sorry, but that... I was going to watch so, Ryuki. Fuck I'm so, you. I'm <laughs> sorry. That was I didn't even damn, know what Ryuki was. Fuck you. That was a damn good series. Have you ever watched Power Rangers and got the thrill yeah. of watching the Green Ranger fight the Red Ranger? Yes. Yeah, you know how, it, you know how it's different that costume heroes are fighting each other compared to costume heroes fighting uh, monsters? Yeah. Ryuki is exactly that. That's what makes it awesome, is that you have costume heroes that transform... Humans that transform into... Yeah, costume heroes fighting each other to the death. It's not fighting monsters, it's fighting other humans. That's what makes it enjoyable. Huh, I now know where Witchblade came from. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're saying a series is made enjoyable because humans are killing other humans? Personally, I find an enjoyment to that because it's a break of the mold. I mean... 
Battle no, Royale. It's Call of Duty. It's technically oh, yeah. It's like it's like you fight e- you, It's like they fight each other to get their to get their deepest wish granted. And, and Wonderland. And it's hey, much- Dead Man. Hey, at least. Hey, at least unlike other shows, Dead Man Wonderland didn't try to stay on its feet. It fell flat. I'm a G. But like you were saying, good Jamie. Two more things. Um, who mentioned Idion, by the way? Because that person is my hero from now on. I love him. <laughs> but like you were Idion, saying, Idion was so good. You have no idea. Um, I was gonna say, yeah, I, I, I consider Idion to be like the first real like mind fuck of a deconstruction. But anyways, though. Um, another thing that I also hate about the Monica Magica fan base is if you dare compare it to anything, they immediately get pissed off at you. Wait, how do you spell idiom? It's uh, I D E O N. I D E O N. Ideon. Oh, okay. So, anyways, but yeah, no, like every I time the... I try to bring up, like, let's say, like, uh, Eva or Idion around, like, any Monica Magica fan, like, I mean, and granted, this isn't everyone. But it's it's just a majority of the ones I've come across. God, they get pissed when they compare it. It's like yeah. it's it's literally like okay, like here I'll send you guys a link. Just it's it's such a dumb thing. This guy has just pretty much bought her that the whole thing is like being compared to uh, Monica, and it's just like honestly, I didn't even want to read it because I was just like this guy's just being a douche. <laughs> yeah, and I'm yeah, and I'm sorry, but if you think Madoka Magica is original because all the characters die, um, yeah, let's think the show that the show that brought the the magical girl genre into popularity, Sailor Moon. Everybody yeah. dies yes. at the end of season one. I'm sorry, but Nikki yeah, Momo. Nikki Momo. Yeah, Nikki oh. Momo. Another I'm show. Sorry. Oh, crap, what? I just escaped me. Magical Princess Mickey Momo. Mickey movie. Momo dies. Okay. Digimon Tamers. <laughs> All I'm saying. <laughs> hey, I mentioned Digimon Tamers before this thing even came. Yeah, no, I'm just saying this. I, is that the deconstruction one? I can't really remember. Yeah, that's the deconstruction of the mod Yeah, genre. that one's fucking crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, dude, I'm like, I remember watching that on Foss Kids, and I was like, wait a minute, what the hell? People are dying? <laughs> wait, did people really die? But yeah, no, like, and, and it's getting kind of, because I moved to Tumblr now, like, I barely go on Facebook as it is. Oh my god, there's just way too much Monica Magica going on. Granted, I'm, just, granted oh. I'm cosplaying Cube. I still love this shit out, but god, it's getting embarrassing. <laughs> so, Did you know that Cube what... made an appearance in Blood Sea? No way, where? Um, at the very end of the show, I, I was shown this at a con. Like, they had a panel of um, the most dangerous anime, and they showed us the ending of Blood Sea. The town gets attacked by these giant Cube monsters. Oh, yeah, 4chan has a gif of that. <laughs> That's oh my god. That, that has got glorious. to be... That scene has got to have the most disgusting death I've ever seen in anime. I, I've seen all of Berserk. That scene where one of the Cube monster, where the Cube monsters just round up a whole bunch of people, and then just blends them to death. Ew. Ugh. Ow. Yeah, Jamie, you didn't know we were we're doing a trial podcast. Wow. Actually, I didn't can I, really can I just know. Just this out so here, by the way, while the I'm fact? in this chat, and and you guys don't have to agree, but I I'm sorry, I, and because I'm an Eva fan. I'm yes. sorry, but Evangelion and fucking IMAX would be the greatest thing ever. Yes! Oh my god! Yes. Oh yes. boy, another movie I'm not gonna see. What the hell? Dude, you can Really? You didn't see the rebuild movies? I want... I they, I... they've been on the back burner. They're good. Dude, well, they're, they're, yeah. they're, it's time to cook honestly, them up. Like, this might be really dumb, and I might get a lot of flack for this, but I actually rate their rebuilds above the actual series. I've heard yeah. that they're better. I'm not an Evangelion fanboy. Person? Um, but, again, we, we've gotten off topic. We've gotten off topic. And yeah. we, I know this is common for podcasts, but who's got another overrated anime? Because if we have nobody, I'll take my turn again. Uh, well, I was thinking now that we've, you know, talked about some overrated, we could go into maybe some underrated shows. Yeah, that'd be underrated, kind of fun. Underrated, I've got one. Yeah, wait, 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 Nathan, Nathan, wait your, wait your fucking turn. Sorry. <laughs> if ZZ were here, she'd probably be saying, oh, of course you have an <coughs> underrated one. Oh, ZZ? Yeah, she probably would. Uh, hold on, okay, okay, I'm actually gonna take my turn. 
Okay. I'm actually going to take my turn as one of the most underrated shows. Uh, Nary my Daikon Brothers. I was just Heard about of it, to... never I... seen it. D- that that show deserves props. That is probably Navashin's defining moment as a director. I, I love that show. It's hilarious. Like I wish it was better. I mean, like more people knew about it. Like how a lot of people know about Excel Saga. Like, hey, he made yes. he made, uh, made Excel Saga, but you know, no one knows about his other work. Like Darren Madaikon. I'm like seriously. And I think that show is like really good. I mean, they do recycle the music, I gotta admit that, but either way, it's always catchy, so I never really... Yeah, I know, but, and I'm like, yeah, if you've seen the Blues Brothers and you love that, I'm like, you're gonna love Nary My Daikon Brothers. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, like I said, it, I just wish more people did know about it, because I'm like, it, yeah, I went to a con where Nabashin was the guest of honor, but only, like, two people cosplay Nary Madaikon, and the rest were cosplaying, like, XL. I'm like, dude, XL's a good show, but come on. The, the, he has more shows than that. <laughs> Tell me about it. I went to see... What? Tell me about it. I went to see Noboro Ishiguro at Otakon. There were like two people dressed up as someone from a show directed by Ishiguro. What <laughs> shows did he direct? Oh, not nothing really special. He only directed uh, Space Battleship Yamato, uh, the Super Dimensional Fortress Macross, 1980s Astro Boy, Mushishi, and That's a little a ditty one. called Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait. Did he do Galaxy Express 999? No, that was... The the movies were done by Rin Taro. Oh okay. Oh by the way, yeah, we're gonna speak on. I'm I'm actually gonna switch to overrated anime right quick. Yeah, you just mentioned one that I really did not care for at all, and I, whoever speaks of it as low, deep, glorified greatness is stupid. Mushishi. Really? Because I I'm sorry. I'm like I I, I understand if you're trying to help these people while helping yourself, but that doesn't mean Mushishi it's gonna a be a good was- show. I don't know. I actually kind of liked it. I mean, like I'm not I've gonna heard go, good uh, things I'm, about Mushishi, but it's kind of more of an atmospheric kind of show. Yeah, never yeah. seen. Yeah, I, I actually, I, when I uh, had the Funimation channel on my FiOS, I caught it a few times, and I, I it was a different because Funimation had like a lot of action shows and everything. So much of that stuff, Mushishi was like different. It was. Well, yeah, I'm like, don't get me wrong, it was different, but it, it wasn't that kind of different that's going to make it, to me, that's going to make you stand out. It was one of those differences that's like, okay, I'm just watching this because it's different. I, I don't enjoy this. I, I, I'm about to fall asleep. I, I have Cheetos in my pockets because I don't know why, <laughs> but I, I'm not watching. I can't stand so I can't stand this. I'm not going to support it and say, oh, it's a godly good anime. I'm just saying that it's... It's different. It's and it's and I don't say it like it's a bad thing. It's a it's a good thing. It's different than like having all this fast paced action nonstop. Every time you change the channel, you got that fast paced action over and over and over. It's yeah, slow. But, it's a good slow. It, yeah, but I mean, it, it was kind of like Cowboy Bebop. I'm like, it didn't have a straight story, but it had those different. It had different episodes with a different story that could all connected in the end. Except with both Mashishi and Cowboy Bebop, I'm sorry, you nostalgia faggots. I did not care for Cowboy Bebop. Really? I thought it was decent. Not in my top ten, I like but I can see why a lot of people. I hate loved to sound it. like a douche, but the only thing that I really liked about Cowboy Bebop was the music. Yeah. I yeah. I'll agree. That's what? Really overrated. Very, yes. I yeah, wouldn't I mean, say Cowboy overrated. Is overrated. I might no, try to. Yeah, when you compare the fan base to like Madoka's fan base, it is very freaking overrated. Yeah. How about Trigun? Trigun is not overrated. It's Trigun's overrated. pretty overrated too. I haven't yeah. seen it. It is overrated, it's, but at least I finished Trigun. Trigun. I, I know some people don't like it because of how far it diverged from the manga. And Badlands Rumble didn't fix anything. No, it didn't. It was just a, it was just a side story, but it wasn't really that bad to be honest. It's like those no, shown movies. Movie. No, it was actually pretty bad. I'll admit. It's bad. like those movies of Shonen Jump shows that are that are like you know, hey guys, here's this villain that we made up specifically for this movie. We're <laughs> not going to mention movies. this again in continuity. Yeah, but at least with, Tri- with Badlands Rumble, that was just a movie that tried to build up Trigun's popularity one more time to get some sales from the U.S. population. And to um, try and make up for the money Studio Madhouse lost on Redline. 
I love I Red Line. But... Seven years worth of hand drawn animation. I love Red Line, and if you dare speak out against it, you will get lynched. No, no, dude. Red Line was kind of like the Gurren Lagan of Madhouse. It was just <coughs> being fun. Yeah. <coughs> And also, the OST is freaking awesome. Oh, come on, I Yellow have, Line. I cannot get Red Line Day out of my head, but let's get back to Overrated. It's a Red oh, Line Day. To, it's okay. Yeah. It's a time yeah. to play. play. It's a Red, <laughs> red Line, play. line Day. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cut in the here. Stanley Cup. And, uh, it's the Stanley Cup of Red Line Days. Okay. I'm going to cut in and talk about my favorite underrated show, which... I probably don't even need to mention at this point. So. Uh, what? Go ahead. What is it? Spill okay. the bean. Beelzebub. Have not seen it. Wait, Beelzebub? You think is overrated? Underrated. Oh. Yes. I don't know. I know nothing about it except baby penis. <laughs> what? What? Uh, yeah. Wait, if we're talking about baby penises, let's go crayon Shin Chan, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dude, no, no, one of the characters in the penis. show is like this baby cop uh, with his cock hanging out. Sorry, at, least he ain't gash, drawn ele- at least he ain't drawing elephants on it. This is Gash Bell. Gash Bell had baby penis all over the place. Well, the manga at least did. I think he said Gash Bell. Can I have Dragon Ball? Ball. Just no, Gash. Oh, Dragon Ball. It's the original, I guess. Mm. I don't know. I'm like, dude, yeah. I'm like, I, 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 haven't, I've only, I haven't even seen an episode of Beelzebub. Just from what I've looked at it, it's like, it's one of those shows that I thought I could just pass up and it was all right. But then it kept going and going and I'm like, great, I have a feeling this is from Shonen Jump. Yep, it's from Shonen Jump. <laughs> and oh, unfortunately, yeah. it's Studio Period and... Yeah. yeah. Piero. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> um, underrated anime. Um, can I put three? Maybe two. Sure. Um, uh, oh, Penny Pony half. Dash. Um, Penny Pony Dash, yes. Bacchano and uh, oh my god, Bacchan, I love Bacchano. Bacchano. Love Bacchano. Love Bacchano. Love it. Love I don't it. think Bac- I don't think Bacchano is really that underrated though. Me either. A lot of people I talk to don't know about it. That's the thing though. And, and like a lot of my friends are like, I see like, more Dora cosplay than I do Bacchano cosplay. Yeah. yeah. Somebody yeah, then, give uh, me a good Lad Russo. <laughs> I, 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 I cosplay a Lad Russo Lad cosplay Russo. so good that Brian Massey will bow down to him. Hey, you um, were saying, Brian? Uh, did you guys get the third one, too, that I mentioned? No. Bacamona Guitari? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Dude, that one is not underrated, and I will tell you why. Numbers. It is not underrated, and I will tell you why. Unless you're in count, unless you're including the U.S. the U.S. audience, it before Madoka, it held the most sales in a Blu-ray for the longest time. Well, not to mention, <laughs> Annie Plus yeah, is charging one hundred and fifty dollars for it. Yeah, not to not to mention any yeah yeah, not to mention Annie Plex selling one hundred fifty bucks for it again. Fuck you, Annie Plex. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I will be shelling out money for those Madoka sets. Not me. Ah, uh, no. I won't. I, as I, much as I like Monica, I think it's bullshit that they're, like, that expensive and you don't even get to choose, like, really anything. The, the If anything, you know what I'm doing? If I'm going to buy the Monica box set, I'm uh, I'm going to give the money to a friend in England and he's going to buy it for me and then he just ship it, ship it over here. Because when you get the one in England, it, com- it comes with all of the DVDs. It's not just, like, one of the DVDs. Yeah, that's how I could tell that Aniplex was way in their asses. Is when Aniplex hey, kind of a bitch what? When it comes to marketing. well, no, I'm serious. I'm like, I, I can understand if you want to pay seventy five bucks for a special edition. That's cool, but with yeah, only four episodes, and then if you want the lowest price, it's forty bucks a Blu-ray or thirty bucks a, a DVD with only yeah. four episodes. I'm sorry, but this is how Bondi died. Yeah, exactly. No, Bandai visual. I just bought I just bought Code Geass R2 like the last DVD of it because Speaking I knew that of overrated. <laughs> no, no. No. <laughs> Screw you Nathan. Code Geass was a masterpiece. I liked Code I'll Geass. Was, okay, I I'll, I'll be into. blunt. I'll be blunt. I would like to give you mo- uh, I'll, I I want to go over then under if 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 that makes any sense. Huh? 
<laughs> I gotta kind of go on. I watched four episodes of Code Geass, and I was like, this show's okay. It's not the greatest thing ever. I mean, it's got more padding than Martin Brodeur, and can't really seem to decide whether or not it wants to be this serious wartime story or silly high school drama. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're meaning. But you know what? It was when, it was when CC was introduced that I realized I've seen this anime before. <laughs> this anime was a lot better when it was called Armored Trooper Votums. I knew it! I knew you were going to say that. I knew it! Geass effectively is, and that's my underrated Armored Trooper Votums. Because Gundam may have set the stage for the mecha genre, but it was Votums that set the tone for me, because its storyline was noticeably a lot darker than Mo than Mobile Suit Gundam. I don't know, I haven't seen any Gundam series, but Votums was my, is my mecha series. Because oh, by, by the way, hold on. J j before you finish, this is how much of a buyer I am. I own I own the Bandai Five movie trilogy uh, Gundam set. I own both sets of Gundam Wing and Gundam Seed and yes. Gundam Double O Eighty Three, the Eighth MS Teen. I have not oh, seen a see. single part of any of those. Do you have the you have, original you have of Gundam? The the movie trilogy, yes. Okay. How do you have Gundam Seed but you don't have G Gundam? Uh, I don't know. Fly in the sky! <laughs> but yes, let me, let me go on with Vot <laughs> Votums. This is had... the best podcast ever. Let me just say this about Votums, because Votums does the whole endless war between two sides with no idea what they're fighting for. I feel it did it a lot better, because it held its tone of being absolutely gritty, perfectly and it has a much more likable main character who is not a total Mary Sue. Hey, you guys want me to piss you off? Sure. sure. <laughs> you probably, I don't know, you probably won't, I'm sure you guys won't, you're cool with this, but um, uh, an uh, overrated anime, in my opinion, is Higurashi. Yes, yes. thank you. Thank you. Feelings one way or the other. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Thank. Thank you. I'm sorry, but people. Teenagers is killing. Disgusting to look at. No. No. I'm sorry, but teenagers killing other teenagers does not make a good show. Yeah. It really yeah. doesn't. No. If you want ugly anime, watch Baki the Grappler. Oh. Oh yeah. That's um, true. <laughs> what I've heard that show is like awesome, but the character designs are hideous. I was know. It, they. Was it Dean of the Helm? I think I caught that when I was in on Funimation, and I don't know. It just looked weird. Uh, I'm gonna bring up an anime, another one too. That I, I I honestly don't know how I feel about it. And I don't know how you guys will feel about it. Uh, I can't really say anything about it because I don't even know where the fuck it's gone. It's kind of fallen off the face. But Dragon Art, I meant. Oh, Dragonaut. Yeah. What a special anime that was. I watched <laughs> six episodes, and I'm like, I can't review this normally. I have to sum this up episode by episode, because yeah. there Which is so that? much stuff to make fun of in that show that you don't even know. Was that was it? Was was that the one with the dragons that took that took okay, let, me, let me sum this up for you. Can I sum it up? <laughs> Can I sum this up, guys? Let sure, me sum up. Uh, let me sum up Ubanaut for you. Okay. There's this yeah. meteor, a giant meteor called Thanatos. Insert Persona Three joke here. Yeah. That is apparently so large. That on its way through our solar system, it destroyed Pluto. Uh, <laughs> that makes you. That makes me good. That makes me feel all good inside. And the only people on Earth so that's who can where it are humanoids who can synchronize with these other humanoids that can turn into fucking really bad-looking dragon. That's the one. Yes, okay, that's the one I was granted, granted, I, I, granted, I personally find Dragonaut to be shitty. I'm gonna say, God damn, that theme song. <laughs> we'll see. Th yeah, that was probably like I keep my uh, 
my anime Which, close faculty yeah. advisor, who I, I'm still friends with, I guess. Um, uh, he, yeah, yeah, he told me straight up that Dragon Knot yeah. is not a good anime. It, it was never from episode <laughs> one, and I'm like. This has to be where Funimation was falling off the ladder. Because I'm sorry, I'm like, I enjoy my shows without much fa- itchy fan service. I actually yeah. like plot in my shows. If you, like- license, sh- if you license shit like Sekirei or freaking Dragonaut or freaking Girls Ray Bravo, I'm sorry. Sekirei. No, screw you. No, fuck um, you guys. Can I, can I, I, I knew one that. about Dragonaut? Hey. Dragonaut's a record for Gonzo because usually it takes one or two episodes for a Gonzo show to come off the rails. With this Wait, one, it only took them 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, can I have one? When your villain is a voluptuous black woman with breasts so large that if they were any bigger, she'd need a wide load sign. And also and a woman who lets her ass hang out so that Sir mix can follow her everywhere singing Baby Got Back. And her sidekick is named is also another black guy named Ashim Jamal. <laughs> Hey, 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 Nathan, it could be worse. Your show could have a main character named Brandon Heat. Oh, Gunbrave, from actually, what I've heard, it, it has a bad first episode, but the rest of the show is awesome. And By the yeah, way, you want fear games? I thought was shitty. I can give you a ton from the world of hockey. Um, there was a guy named Bob Seaman. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, anyway, wait, Bri- anyway, Brian. Brian, what were you gonna say? Uh, okay. I got two actually. Um, one that I've never heard of. My friend just told me about it. Um, but I actually I'll bring up this one first. Um, wait, hold on, hold on, Brian. Brian, hold on, Brian. Brian, hold on. Anthony, can you turn down your stuff? Oh wait, you 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 want me to turn it down or no, no, want... Anthony. Oh, okay. I think he's cooking something in the microwave. That's my argument. Is he cooking stuff without our permission? <laughs> I'm eating an I'm apple. Eat- yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm eating a fish. I'll tell Get out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. It's not, it's not <laughs> fair that fair. I don't have any food. Strike witches. Okay. Didn't like it. Uh, oh, okay. you mean uh, okay. No Pants Mary and the No Pants Crew? Yeah, thank God. I love you. Okay, okay, that show, okay, that show, I will admit, I saw when I was first getting into anime, that was probably my fir- one of my first edgy shows. The plot is okay. Yeah, that's it's what I was just, the plot is just good, the, no, the plot is fucking great, uh, but it just gets ruined by all the fan service and, and panty shots. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. I was actually in um, Hastings uh, probably, like, a couple months ago. And, like, we don't have week. Hastings up, right, up by where I am, but I'm go sorry, on. I don't have jack shit where I'm from, so. Okay. Well, anyways, <laughs> there was this little. Uh, I think it was a little. It was a little boy, and uh, he was like. He was like, a little boy. Yes, and he was <laughs> like he picked up strike witches, and uh, he he wanted his mom to buy. I'm like, n- n- no. Uh, did, did you save him? Did you save him from the tyranny? I saved his mortal soul. Yes. Th- Here, watch you. this. It's everybody, called everybody, Bad. give him a round of applause. Instead, I handed him High School of the Dead. <laughs> I love you and I hate you at the same time. <laughs> here, kids, it, here, kids, you're gonna love this. It's got zombies and action hey, Garrett, and Garrett, titties. Garrett, and how old was this kid? Oh, he was probably about six. And titties six. In it. About six? Oh my yeah. god! He can't fap at six. Okay, another anime that I'm just gonna bring up, and I haven't. I just now heard about this one, uh, Bakurano. Bokurano, I hear, is really good. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's it's a deconstruction, apparently. So, wait, what show? Uh, Bakurano. That's what I'm getting from my friend here, who's telling me to watch it, and he's like, "Oh, it's, it's kind of like a deconstruction." So, okay. never heard of. Bokurano, I keep getting Bokurano confused with Bokuraga Ita, both That's... of which I will admit I've never seen. Uh... I keep getting Bokurano confused with Boku no Pika. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can we go back to overrated right quick? <laughs> no, Boku no Pico's not overrated. <laughs> no, no, it has nothing to do with that. What? <laughs> well, I'm not going to say it's overrated and it's bad, because I think it's overrated, but I actually do kind of like it, and it is Hatalia. 
See, see, that is the perfect example of good show turned bad by fan bases. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I, I hate to sound like a douche in the punch bowl, but I'm like the only person I think in here who probably thinks it's like just... Uh, and I don't want to seem like a douche, but I just don't like it altogether, and I think it's kind of a terrible show idea. But that's just me. I'm just throwing that out there. It's just... Italy wait, I thought, wait I, thought, I thought you just said you liked it. Mm-mm. When did I say that? You said, you said you I think it. Italia is actually a good show. No, I didn't. I didn't say anything. I just said something. Like that's when I started saying. Okay. <laughs> I just kind of liked it. I did not say that. I swear to God. If I if I if I like Garrett, Cal- Garrett, I'll- good thing we're recording this. Yes. <laughs> You're gonna be our witness. <laughs> 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 yes. Prepare to be judged. Yes. <laughs> and may the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs> we should put a. We should put the Phoenix Wright clip that says "Hold it." And then go back to what he had to say about Hetalia, and then we'll get our proof. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Remind me to put that when I re- when I redo this thing. <laughs> okay. Anyway, can I uh, can I put in another uh, underrated? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Garrett, that, was sure. a low blow. <laughs> that was a low blow. Yes, uh, Nathan, go ahead. Proceed. Proceed. Um... Stupid. Oh god, it was in my it was in my head and now it's out. Ugh. It was in my penis it's and sucked. then it's out. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, <ew. Dude>. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you all. So, well, while we're talking about underrated, now it it's not as underrated in Japan because I know it sells really well over there, but I'm not sure exactly how well it does over here. Well, I can't really do anything over here now since it's kind of out of print. But that would be Hunter x Hunter. Oh, I've heard of that. Uh, Garrett, would you I like to comment on Hunter x Hunter? It's not as if you keep talking about it every day now. <laughs> what about... Wait. Have you ever seen it? <laughs> Dude, I might as well just watch the reboot. I hear the reboot's way better. It is, because, um... And, uh... Yeah. Well, I just um, got the first box set. Well, I remember... I remember... What? I remembered what I wanted to bring up, but I'll let you finish. Okay. Well, um, I actually just was able to get a hold of the first box set like a few hours ago. And, yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna be that hard though, because I'm like, I remember seeing the box sets all over, and now all of a sudden they're out of print. I'm like, what? Yeah, it's just Viz being Viz. Viz being Viz. Yes. By the way, did anybody participate in that uh, get Viz box sets of anime for like five and ten bucks on Right Stuff? I do not need to own all of Inuyasha. <laughs> but, but but the final act's coming out. You need it. <laughs> <laughs> Inuyasha is one of those shonen series that I will admit I TiVo'd every night on Adult Swim. Oh, shonen. I'm sorry. I think Inuyasha is probably the first... I think Inuyasha is probably the first of many shows that I wish I could have seen Kagome's tits. I'm sorry, I, I, I really wanted to. Would you Would you want her to put them on the glass? Yes. <laughs> Do it. So, uh, that was a so horrible, s- horrible song. Going back to uh, my show. Yes, my turn. To your show. My show. My show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, has anybody here in 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 the audience has anybody actually seen? Any of Hunter x Hunter? Nope. Dot AVI. Okay. Go back to the tits. <laughs> well, Speaking there's this of one titties. That... <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, um, Hunter x Hunter x Hunter actually does have its fair amount of fan service. So, oh well. Me. Well, actually, speaking of titties. I'm like, uh, let's go to a gruesome show that is Baby's First Gore Fest, known as Elfin Lead. Yeah. Dave and Joel uh, of Fast Karate for the Gentleman did a whole podcast where they just tore Elf and Lead apart. I think we're going to say Helsing. Lisa. Oh, I'm actually excited for that release. Uh, yes. I'm probably going to get a lot of shit for this. For uh, Helsing uh, Ultimate. I thought uh, we were all talking about Tiger and Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> when the hell did Tiger and Bunny get into the picture? I don't know. I like to be spontaneous. I am looking forward to the dub of it because I saw the clip that Viz released and I said, I'm okay with this. Great cast, too. They got uh, Wally Wingert to play uh, uh, Kotetsu. 
Um, he, I think he's personally underused. Uh, Yuri Lowenthal is great as Barnaby. If oh, you've yeah. seen that dub clip, uh, also in that, uh, also in that dub <laughs> is uh, Liam O'Brien, Steve Bloom, of course, Kari Walgren. Of course. Uh, there's there's, there's a, a few guys, others uh, right now. Oh, my personal favorite, Mr. Deep McSexy voice, Jameson Price. I thought you were going to say Dan Green. No, Jameson Price easily beats Dan Green. Like, wait, if you played leather pants, if you've Dan, played wait. Catherine, you've heard him as the narrator. Oh, Yuri wow. wait a minute. I, I Yuri. yeah, I, I think you wait. You're we're not talking about uh, Davis Vincent Price, are we? Vincent uh, Price. David Vincent, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, wait, wait. Or, or 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 are you talking about Kira Vincent Davis? No, uh, no. Davis, K- David Vincent Price, the freaking Ken from Digimon, Digimon season two, uh, Kataro from Love Hina. Uh, Was he? Wasn't he in a? Wasn't he uh, in Black Lagoon as Lawton the Wizard? Or, Sorry, but when I hear Vincent Price, all I think about is Michael Jackson's Thriller. I know you were gonna say that. Dude. <laughs> or the House on Haunted Hill, or Edward Scissorhands. But yes, um, back to underrated anime because I finally it finally okay. popped back into my head. Okay. And, okay. And then he lost it again. <laughs> Very alone no, he did Anyways. not because I have this whole wall of anime pictures, and right in my mind is a <coughs> cute little super robot show from 2003 that I reviewed for my show, Shinkon Gatai Go Danner. I freaking love Go Danner. Go Nanners. Go Nanners. Let me just let me just summarize the first. Let me just sum up this uh, episode for you, and you can feel free to laugh if you will. <laughs> Basically, this guy who pilots a super robot saves a little girl named Anna Aoi. Several years later, they get married. Now, the main character of our show, Go Saruwatari, is a guy in his late twenties, and he's marrying a sixteen-year-old high school girl. Uh... However. Not and basically, had... they're stuck still a better love story than Twilight. Together. It's still a better love story than Twilight because exactly. it actually because the characters actually grow up. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Twilight's a better love story than Naruto. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Go Danner is awesome. Like, like I, it's it's I cannot recommend Go Danner enough. But if you don't like fan service, you are not gonna like Go Danner because no. Go Danner. Let me just Get put it this way. Asshole. Wait a minute, wasn't that the show that you advised me to watch a few weeks ago? What? No. What, yeah. Uh, or what was that show? Uh, shit, it was the one that you said it was kind of like Gurren Lagann, but wasn't? It was... I like to think of Godanner as, like, the predator... You can see, like, shades of Godanner reflected in Gurren Lagann. But it's more... A, but go, Godanner is not Garen Lagan. It's more akin to something like a Gona Guy robot show, like Mazinger Z, Getter Robo, Guy King, Grandizer, Steel Jig. I see, I see. But if you like those old super robot shows and you're down with the biggest titties on the block, <laughs> we're not talking like. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I got a show, but go on. Um. Um. But yeah, yeah, Godanner. Like, there's a lot of fan service in Godanner, but Godanner's all about being over the top crazy, so I'll. I, I'm okay with it, to be honest. It's not meant to be uh, shocking like in Man Yu Hikencho. It's merely there just as. Just, it's, it's, Godanner has its tongue planted firmly in its cheek, is what I'm trying to say. Jeez, wow, yeah. I'm like looking up pictures of it and. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah. better than what the other one. First, one of the right. first results is like Godanner Dojen, Dojenshi, Godanner Hentai. By the way, is it me or has the quality of the call gone down? Uh, Skype does yeah, that sometimes to like. I'm on my school's things. network, so please excuse me. Yeah, I haven't okay. really noticed. Like, How am I sounding? Okay. Uh, um, yeah, every everybody sounds like really like. Yeah, not clear, but I'm like, I, I guess it's because it's Skype. Yeah. 
but anyways, yeah, I'm like, uh, what was he saying? <laughs> Jamie said, yeah, nothing disappoints me more than hearing Yuri Lewenthal and it, in Tiger and Bunny. This gives me a while to go cut myself. Yeah, I'm sorry, but Yuri Lewenthal will always be Simone from Garen Lagan for me. I'm sorry, but I'm just tired of I have of a Yuri funny Lewenthal. story about Yuri um, and uh, Johnny Young Bosch, actually. Uh, oh, that's the best part of the dub for Tiger and Bunny. No Johnny Young Bosch. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. hey. It's Johnny Young funny. fucking Bosch. Thank you. I'm sorry, but he's over... He's in everything. Yeah. Well, so is... This is not well, a so Vic Mignogna. So he's in. So, well, no, no. Uh, I'm like... Joke. Okay, just let me, let me tell you a story. Uh, I can't remember exactly... I can't even remember what con it was. It was a long time ago, but... uh. Yuri was there, and at the time, me and uh, a friend named Dallas, we were huge uh, fans of Code Geass, right? So, um, um, we had, uh, we had made this picture of, uh, uh, it was, like, photoshopped, and, like, it was Yuri and Johnny Young Bosch sitting next to each other, but, like, we tore it in half, so then we gave them the halves. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and, uh, actually a couple, I think, uh, uh, god damn, I can't even remember another... The, the, the next time that I saw Yuri, I, I like walked up to him and I'm all like, "Oh, hey, you got that? Uh, you still got that picture?" And he's like, "Yeah, I actually have it in my office." And every time that me and Johnny get together to do voice, we'll have it in the in the studio somewhere. And I'm like, "I <laughs> fucking love you, people." <laughs> uh, <laughs> but anyway, so, uh, I, bring up I apologize if you hear any police sirens in the background. By the way, boys, I live right next to Bridge. Or my campus is right next to Bridgeport. Oh, that's okay, dude. I live in, uh, I live in, right now, uh, apparently the third most dangerous city in North America. Chicago? Uh, no. Uh, my not, because of the oil, uh, impact. Coming well, probably through here. because you, yeah, probably because you live in there. <laughs> yeah. It's, sorry, it's, it's really shit. Like, I'm not even joking you, like, I, we, like, the night can't go five minutes without hearing gunshots downtown somewhere. It's Dude, really scary. Live? I've been shot at on the way home, okay? What are you, what are you Sweet! Not house anymore. I was using self defense. <laughs> <laughs> I shot the sheriff. But I did not shoot the deputy. Deputy! The deputy! Let's all roll up some joints, guys, and let's all make a Greg A band. Let's do this right now. Screw that. I'm thinking Eric Clapton, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> together and sing Red Line Day. There we go. Anyways, can I uh, can I bring in another anime that I think is uh, well, actually two uh, underrated. No. Um, okay, the first one I'm probably gonna get shit for. Uh, Bodacious Space Pirates. I'm sorry, I could not get into that show. They took way too long to yeah, even do honestly, anything. That's how I felt about it too. Like after a while, I was just like, oh fuck this, and it just dragged on and on. They turned Captain Harlock into a Moe show. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what's your other hey, one? Hey, hey, you. Uh-oh. Well, actually, I'm gonna switch the topic right quick. I'm like shows that I that I thought were all right but had great opening themes. Irresponsible Captain Tyler. Uh, and some has my favorite I thing of all time. I I about Blue Exorcist. <coughs> that actually does have a good one. Wait, which I mean, blade? I like the what's what's the topic I like called? The ending to which blade? Oh, we're talking our favorite favorite openings. Oh, um, uh, oh, oh opening. There's only How about... one opening for me in the world of anime. Only one. Huh. And that is know. three simple words for that one opening. You are shocked! Yeah! Yes, I got a lot of jikuru! You are shocked! Now, what about anime that themselves are bad but have good songs? Mm, that the shows are bad but have good Dragon songs? Hot, yeah. Rosario Vampire. I actually got a few, but I can't think of it. Right hey, now. is it Stefan? I can't. Is it Stefan or Steven? Stefan. Okay, Stefan. Um, did you know that uh, the Bodacious opening? Uh, do you know who recorded yes. that? Yes, Marty. Marty fucking Freeman. That was yeah. That's that that alone seals the fucking deal as being my favorite uh my favorite anime opening. Cause goddamn, that is an opening. I actually went uh, nuts. I actually went nuts because one of the one of the common writer movies song, uh, theme songs was uh had Marty Mar- Marty Friedman. You said Marty Friedman yeah, as a Marty Friedman as a guitarist, and I listened to it. It's I can't stop listening to it. 
Yeah. Just listen. He had, there's in the sing, if you listen to the single, there's the regular version, and then there's the Marty Friedman that. version <laughs> where he just goes nuts with solos all over the place. It's it, great. Oh, and Stephon, also, if you want to know? Do you want to know who I think that the coolest member of Megadeth ever was? It's Marty by fucking far. <laughs> I'm Dave Mustaine. I'm gonna write songs, and you're gonna <laughs> listen to them. <laughs> um, can I go back to something real quick? Uh, oh, but by the way, by the way, I, I do not like to have my name spoken when it's on public affairs. So, can we oh, go okay. by Jeebus, please? Okay. Yeah, sure. We'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll put a little censorship. Um, oh well, j- just click on my name. yeah, just click on my name and rename me as Jeebus. Okay. Actually, just just do your little no thing. It does have it as a censor. <laughs> or just call me. No. Call <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, but but um, no, I actually, I actually just thought of one. I'm like, it, this is actually one of my uh, favorite openings, like uh, recent openings. But a sh- uh, a sh- an opening that I think is really good, but is is to a not so great show. Yeah. Uh, Marshmallow Justice from Nisimo Monogatari. I have Marshmallow Justice. Never seen. I never knew Marshy from Homestar Runner was an attorney. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in court on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, that song is so awesome. But it had to belong to a show who sold a plot for fan service. Okay. Oh, that sucks. Do I even want to watch this? That then? No, dude. Nisei Monogatari. I got this from 4chan. It's Nisei Monogatari is pretty much known as uh, when it was coming out on Crunchyroll. It was fetish of the week. Oh damn it! Wow. Alright, now there's one ex- I, I mentioned earlier, but I want to kind of elaborate on it, which is the Rosario Vampire anime adaption. Now, I think that the opening song represents... Woman who shoots lasers from her titties! Anyways, <laughs> I think that the opening uh, song represents everything that the show did wrong, but the ending song represents everything that the show could have been. There we go. Wait, what? What happened? Uh, I, accident- I accidentally exited the call. Keep going. Uh, okay. Now, I believe that the Rosaria Vampire ending song represented what it could have been. It was dark and edgy and definitely a lot better than the show itself. Hmm. One second. Let me go through my iTunes. I think I'll find something because I really can't think of anything. Speaking of a uh, anime that was bad but had good opening themes, I mentioned this earlier, but I'll say it again: Queen's Blade. I love the first opening too. Okay, yeah, no, that's the, and that's a show. That's a show that I like. I don't know. I've seen a lot about, but I'm like, I'm nervous to get into it because wow, them. Tits. Okay, let me just spoil the plot for Queen's Blade. In the first five seconds of the first episode. We have a girl who shoots acid from her tits. <laughs> I have a bunch of songs, and I can't find one that's just And, the, two and thus, se- for two seconds, and thus I sent. I thought you meant the drug acid. I'm like, what? She shoots LSD from her tits? Jesus Christ! No, dude, no, no, actually, dude, I want to party. Acid. I would want to party with her. <laughs> Lasers are oh. acid. Decisions, decisions. So, um. What are we? Are we still talking about this anime songs, or can oh, yeah. I uh, switch can over I, to something right quick? Can I talk about bad openings to anime? Like, what are some openings to anime that you don't like? Or on High School Host Club? No, no, <laughs> fuck you. That Sakura Kiss is one of the best openings ever. Kiss, Negima. kiss, fall in love. Yeah, baby, you're my love. Negima. I, I honestly. Negima was alright. God, I don't even know how I feel about. Most anime openings. Yeah, I'm like, I usually just kind of skip them not to be a dick. <laughs> Princess the Jellyfish. The second opening to Witchblade is one that rubbed me the wrong way for the first few moments. I'm oh, like, hey. <laughs> Monica's uh, opening is, is a fucking asshole. Oh, yeah, because the lyrics are supposed to be written by Homura. Yeah, really? and, 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 and it's like the most deceiving opening of all time. Hmm. Uh, but actually, I'm trying to think, you know, you know, but honestly, at least, but at least it's not Moonlight S- Densetsu, where apparently the, the song is talking about Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus. Well, then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
We oh, also, okay. I also that, have to mention brings... like the loveliest anime opening ever. Have you guys seen Berserk's opening? I was at a panel that was all about anime openings, and they played that one for bad ones, and the guy described it as Guts getting ready for his photo shoot while my friend's Weezer cover band plays in the background. <laughs> Dude, but that song is so catchy, though. I'm like, I'm sorry. All right, I got, I got two that are, I got two that are pretty bad. I'm just trying to remember. Um, I got opinion, one. The English, the English version of the Sailor Moon opening. Um, I can't. The, you know, the first one. Fighting evil fight tonight. Yeah. Like the actual. We are the evil fight tonight. Wait, what? Cheesy bird names. Sorry. Cheesy bird. <laughs> He <laughs> tried real hard. No. <laughs> you don't know who Shuki Levy is, don't you? Or do you? Huh? What? Shuki Levy, he wrote pretty much all of Saban's theme songs. Nah. Only Levy I know is Stu Levy, and he, he's an asshole. Did oh, Stu mind, Levy, you mean Jay Milky? Did you mind, are the champions? Change into digital. I'm sorry. Nostalgic theme songs, Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I hate doing this because I have to hear this at every time. But I want to be the very best that no one ever was. Cash them is my real test. To train them is my thought. I'll travel across the land, searching far and wide. It's what we got to understand. I was outside. Pokemon! Where's your one thing? So I just. So I did. I. Song by Ichiro Mizuki. Wait, what? You guys ever hear of a guy named Ichiro Mizuki? Negative. Nope. Maybe. Ichiro Mizuki is like anime's golden voice. Like a lot. Like he sang a lot of the significant themes in anime. He sang the theme, the opening theme to Mazinger. He was the founder of Jam Project. Oh, no wonder that's yeah. the name sounds familiar. Jam Project. I don't know. The, o- the sang only theme to Common Rider stronger as well. I don't know. I didn't only, know. The only person that I've heard of, like that's that's supposed to be like the golden voice in Japan, is Masaki Endo. Yes. yes. No, the golden baritone is uh, Isao Sasaki. You might best know you you may know him best as the singer for the opening to Space Battleship Yamato, and I know that opening by heart. Would you like to hear it? T- well, well, to tell you the truth, dude, I've never seen Space Battleship Yamato. Same well, surely you've seen the opening. No. 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 You haven't. Hey, you well, haven't finished even Galleon. I've seen all of Evangelion. I just haven't seen the rebuild movie. Have you seen the director's cuts? Yeah, the director's cuts? <laughs> I've seen and, the director's and then the OVAs? Cut. Have you seen the end of Evangelion? I've seen the <laughs> end of Evangelion. <laughs> Have you seen the alternate I version? I didn't see the end of Evangelion. <laughs> Have you seen the edited version? The re edited version? The non edited version? Have you also seen the OVAs and the movies? The edited from the edited version itself? And then, you did, and then you also saw Ava on. Marudozomu Uchu Senkan Yamato. I actually, oh god, I actually don't have the Cruel Angel Thesis anyway. on bass. I can play the Cruel Angel Thesis on piano. I know, I love you. I wish I could play a lot. I wish I could play piano. I'm playing it Yeah, right that's now. the thing. <laughs> we are going to have a musical for our <laughs> podcast, and I'm going to start playing. Are right you now. kidding? The one time my mom was sleeping, I can't go nuts with you guys. You guys are killing me. Hold up, hold up. Hey, stop it. Hey, slow down. I got, I'm going to come with this face. Okay, one, go. That was, that was going to be my new ringtone, you fucker. Uh. Feel so good. 
Anyways, um, yeah, sorry, I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go do another podcast. So this was a nice trial version. Uh, if y'all want to keep going, go ahead. But is I the, am going the, to head is out. The, is the, total, is, the, is the actual bed. version like thirty dollars per month? What? <laughs> I'm going to bed. This she is jumped. Otaku Nate signing off and saying good night, Canada. <laughs> Sayonara. I'm close dude, to Canada. You, dude, dude, you I still left for part of the interruption. Phrase. You I've still left. Just... This is Otaku Nate signing off and saying the heavens call, the earth cries out, the crowd roars. They call for me to protect them from evil. I I'm the warrior of justice. Come in, Lida! Strunga! I totally love you, but I'm gonna and go uh, smoke a cigarette. And as I pray, unlimited shit works. Good night, ev- Good night, citizens of Dead Man Wonderland. May you all enjoy your tedious task of performing stunts that w- the mindless public will enjoy. Yay! Yay! Right. Well, this is- oh, shit. Right. I'm a G! Okay, well, that this has been the trial podcast for League of Extraordinary Spenders. This will be put on iTunes <laughs> since this was actually this was actually pretty good compared to other podcasts I've heard. So, uh, thank you, Garrett, Jamie, Nate, Dog, and Brian. Uh, we, sure, you can go ahead and have one last read. Burst Angel, I I was bored with Burst Angel. And yet I was surprised to find that some people out there actually like that incredibly mediocre anime. Well, it it would have helped if they hadn't put fucking CGI! Well, it's not the CGI that was bad. I think they they missed the memo that characters in action-based anime are supposed to have uh, personalities (laughs) that make them easy to distinguish from one another. Right. And also that Meg should not be that Meg should not be getting fucking captured every single fucking episode. Hey, she's hey. about as useless. <laughs> she's about as useless as. That's... Oh god, I'm running out of useless uh things. By the way, she's... you can't use Sakura because that's entry level useless. I'm, I don't want to say useless as Sakura. I'm trying hey, to think. From you. Uh... Well, no, You're about as useless as Tonight Tonight by Hot Shell Ray. Yeah! <laughs> but yeah, I hated Burst Angel. Boring action scenes, bad stories, and characters who, who were simply interchangeable. You could switch out their personalities and I couldn't tell the difference. Except Say. Say was good, but she has the most ridiculous shirt in anime. <laughs> what holds those gazongas up? I don't know, but until then, thank you. Fuck you, the star is here, I am Nate, and I am out like a light. <laughs> you are not the star, sir. Okay. I, we are Tell the stars. Tell it to Lad fucking Russo. So, <laughs> before we all sign off like everybody's gone, I would just like to take a moment to say... The theme tune to an overrated anime. Someone shoot me, I'm already depressed. You have a good singing voice. Thank you. Like it's, a good thing I, it's, good, it's a good I'm thing a I know what y'all are singing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you. Good night. This has been Jeebus. This has been League of Extraordinary Spenders. We'll be back next time with a lot more interracial configurement. Wait, what? <laughs> I, thought, I thought we were still going on for another hour. No? Who said that? <laughs> I did. Maybe we'll actually have a girl on. Yeah, we'll have a girl on. It won't be a sausage fest like every I'm other podcast. To friends from Tumblr to join us. Um, hey, Anime so- World Order has a girl on their show. I wonder if I we can think. get some voice actor guest stars. Dude, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I got Sunny Straight on my friends list. Oh yeah, we'll invite Sunny Straight. I actually want to get freaking. Uh... I met him a couple. Of... Yeah. I met him at Anime Minneapolis. He's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I met Jamie yeah, Market have a... Icon. The line for her was about as long as a this staircase. Podcast? <laughs> I was like, this podcast. No. <laughs> See, um, that's a tip for you. If there are anime not... guests at non-anime conventions, go to them. Their lines are short. There was nobody in line for Jamie Markey. Like, there were people there, but it wasn't like 
anime expo long line long. Dude, the only thing I ever do in in anime conventions is just chill at the karaoke room. That's all I ever need. Ah, uh, yes. I just wander around aimlessly taking pictures of cosplays. Like you have no idea. I just like I advertise myself uh, for. I just just go nuts. It's great. Oh, it's great. Just fucking great. Another it's person. Great. Now we gotta have another intro. No, oh. we don't. We're just Excellent. gonna add it. If Wait, we, need, we need it. We need an intro. Well, he needs to say something. Actually, I'll I'll pick an intro like uh, the next one. I never really, I never really had an intro. Hope and Gundam okay. stop. What? Come on, it's Sam, and welcome to the jam. <laughs> that, you know, that's what. See, that's the mistake Space Jam made. They shouldn't have cast Michael Jordan. They should have gone for Charles Barkley. Screw that. <laughs> I love Charles. Charles. I love Charles, but we have to keep selling Michael Jordan as long as he's profitable somehow. <laughs> Michael Jordan ruined basketball. Screw is you, this Michael. Even part jo- of the co- podcast? No, it, it still is. <laughs> okay, but screw you, Michael Jordan was the inspiration to a lot of future basketball players, including um, Jeremy Lin, that Stephane one guy, Jeebus. <laughs> 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 That's so funny, sir. <laughs> I don't watch basketball. I like I watch hockey. Oh, oh! You watch the kid. And this is where I don't this watch is where hockey. The 2013 watch NHL anime. season will be if I had one. Uh, anyway, I, uh, and this is where a fuck would be if I gave one. <laughs> Dude, I just I, I I just speaking on on, on nostalgia lane. I like I loved that scene. <laughs> but, but, uh, also, this is me graduating from dictator school with smiles, and this is where I put a trophy. If I had one, sorry, <laughs> lost the happy, hey, lost the happy's okay. back. Any- but you can't be happy all the time, ha! Huh, rebellion. That is so seventies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is there any, like, set date or time that we will get together for this thing? Uh, yeah, how, about ne- how about this Saturday? Um, uh, what time Saturday? Yeah. Uh, it depends. What time is probably good for everybody here? I have to see. Eight or nine? nine. Uh, probably. I have to see because I'm gonna, I, might, I might be out that night. I need to go get some books for college. Okay. Oh, boy. Books for college that you're not going to read. No. Actually, it's, it's fucking and while, while, while we're, you know, kind of goofing around here, is anybody Fly familiar away. with Fly away. the Yu-Gi-Oh! group series? Fly away! Hey, 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 hey! Pura puta, pura puta! Pura puta! Pura puta! Pura puta! Well, what was going on? Anyways, I was just going to ask you. Anyone is interested in hearing my Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, I'm like, have you shut off the podcast already? Uh, I'll go ahead and do that right now. All right. Yeah, hurry up, because I really need to pee. Okay. I'm going to go. Thank you. The podcast is ending now.